What's going on guys? My name is HGD and today we're going to finish up Earthbound. In the last episode we began the epic battle against Pokey and Lord Gigas. And now he has become fatally wounded. Next, Paula, Jeff, and Insane Pooh are now going to finish off the fight and end the war once and for all. Alright, what we're going to want to do right now is for Paula to continue praying. Uh, I don't think Gigas is going to be doing any more doing any more to us. So I'm going to try to restore Pooh so he doesn't attack us and throw the whole game for us. Because, uh, this is a pretty, pretty tough fight. We don't want to have Pooh starstorm us all. I can't think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us. Paul's call was absorbed by the darkness. Yes. Ness! I'm so sad. Ness. Haha, -ha, Franklin Badger for Thunder attack. Okay, so Pooh stopped crying, but he's still kind of brain dead. Alright, we need to try to. Uh, do I have a secret herb at least? I'm pretty sure I do. No, Ness doesn't have anything. Actually, no. Paul, do you have. A secret. Yes, you do. Okay. Alright, uh, we're gonna go about one more fight to one more round before we just begin praying again. Ah, uh, girl. Oh, go back. Alright. Pose back to normal. Alright. Now let's get back on track. Let's end this fight. Paula, continue your prayers. Jeff, defense. Who? Use your brain shock attack. Alright, that's perfect. I'm happy. Kigas is acting a bit unusual. What are you talking about? You're happy? Ha! He did damage to his own soul. Smite-ish! Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. Someone, can you hear me? Please give us strength. Paula and her friends touch the heart of Av Er XJ. I C J pray for the kids having never left them. 3718 HP of damage. Er, H, L, S, U, X, J, kept praying. 6,712 HP of damage to Gigas. Veer, out, raw, X, J, kept praying. 12,850 HP of damage. Xavier, house seal, X, J, D, kept praying. Twenty-three thousand one hundred HP points of damage inflicted upon Gigas. Next, now I well, it seems like I'm going to run away, but perhaps I'll just sneak into another area to think of my, about my next plan. It's a good bet that we'll see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. So, which one you? Which one of us do you think is a real cool guy? We did it. We beat the game. We defeated Gigos, the alien threat. It is now over. The war is finally over. Feed is aborted. Yeah, I, I do believe in the Gigas is a fetus theory. Sorry.
the war against Gigas is over. Souls of the heroes have left the robots. And Ness apparently still has his red cap. Whatever. Travel, our travels together here and here. I must return to Delam and use this experience for the good of my country. Ness, Paula, Jeff. Let me demonstrate strange power before I go. I realize this power as a child. PSI, farewell. Now. I'll see you again someday. Oh wait, can I get your number? Can I text you? Oh. Oh, presents. Paula, Ness, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I've been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well, if you do get hit someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Andronuts. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. Ness, will you just call me home? Uh, sure. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Alright, let's see what are in these presents. A letter from Mom. Alright. Let's see what this letter has to say. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you went home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat steak as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all about all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy King and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. There's a letter for Tony inside. Ness takes it. Incredible! Excellent! I'm not quite sure for what kind of congratulations on a job well done. If I ever have the chances to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes too. <laughs> yeah, bro. Totally. The chances of Giga's gain victory on, with his monstrous plan was 99%. However, your courage has produced that 1% chance that Giga's fails. I was trying to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. Let's check out this letter from Tony. Dear Jeff, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone on your adventure even just part of the way. But instead I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Hey. Eh. Jeffy, it was fun to hang out together. Love you too, Jeff. 
It's a miracle, a miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I had come with you as a robot. I should have used a faith story. What a story that would have been. Scientists and Farkas save the world. Ha 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 It's a letter from the kids inside. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come play with us again at Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. So seriously, your friends at Polestar Preschool. Alright. Zoom! Well, it looks like it's all over. Let's, uh... Let's teleport. Alright, we're gonna drop off Paula at her home, a little preschool, and then I'm going to save my state so I can do other things while Ness is alone. It's not anything important, but I just wanted to like have some extra extra stuff going on. He's he's smiling. Yes, thank you for escorting me home. There's something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Dang, all is bad. Alright, I'm gonna save this state right here so I can do some other stuff later. But for now, we are going to warp home. Oh, that was a failure. Okay, let's forget that just happened. Now let's go down it. <sighs> well, this was a great game, guys. A, a real 16-bit gem. I'm glad to have been able to say I've completed something in my life. Well, we're back home. And real quick, why don't we take a quick snapshot with Ness. We'll save that. To Google Plus. It was a great adventure. Let's head inside. Wow, you've been such a strong young man. I like to hear all, all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Well, I guess he did bring it, give it to us after all. Well, let's talk tomorrow. Did you finish everything you wanted to do, too? Yep, we'll do all that in another episode, in another video. Okay, now you can finally share that your experiences with me. You did so well. Picky Minch, Larna Minch, Velocius Minch, Pokey Minch, Buzz Buzz, Wire Exaggerate, Frankie Fly, The Sharks, B.H. Purple, Captain Strong, Honor Police Force. 
All right. I would like to uh, thank you guys for watching this Let's Play with me. I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm glad you guys, hope you guys enjoyed it also. Um, real quick, I have a little uh, review. At the end of every Let's Play, I'm going to give a short little review that I have. The review will be separated into five categories of, of graphic, music, story, length, and difficulty. And, um, all right, here we go. The Earthbound After Let's Play Review. Now, for graphics, I give this game a straight five out of five. The graphics in this game are beautiful and have a rainbow of colors in the overall. For an SNES game, the battle screen looks trippy and feels hypnotic to the point where no other game except Mother Size Earthbound can pull it off. Now, as a music, I give it another 5 out of 5. The music in this game is fantastic and the soundtrack is full of many songs that will leave you looking, ex looking up extended versions of it on YouTube. I have my list of favorite songs and I have not a single song that I don't like in this game. From overall to battle themes, Earthbound takes the cake for the best SNES soundtrack. Now, as a story, I have to give it a 4.5 out of 5 because the Earthbound adventure is phenomenal as it takes you all around a bizarre world with danger in every corner. However, I feel like there are a few stages or areas in the game that either lack emphasis or I think didn't need, even need to happen. Also, I wanted to point out that there is little to no dialogue amongst the characters throughout the story after they've been introduced to the party. There was little character story progression. I feel like there was a little choice or option or opinion in what what you get to do and that the story was straightforward and had very little side quests. Now, as a length, I give this game a medium to almost long. This game had a good span and didn't feel like it was going to end anytime soon until right after Magic Camp in the 8th Soundstone moment. I wish there was a few more or broader side quests in the game like other RPGs in this time, or even maybe a little after story or extra mode since the last time you could possibly save is the final level or Saturn Valley, but I don't want to get or sound greedy. Now, as a difficulty, I give this game a medium to hard. This game is like a roller coaster with its difficulties, whereas there will be levels that feel like a cakewalk, and there are levels that say, if you didn't grind train, you're gonna die. The guide does not ever tell you to grind for levels, so you could, oh, you could go to Ana after Buzz vs. Death and get wrecked by the shark and feel stuck for a month. Grind training, like many other RPGs, is very necessary if you ever want to play this game. Use a guide. I cannot emphasize that enough. Do not do a blind let's run or let's play in this game because you will 100% not prey on gigas and however you will feel the accomplishment of being the 16-bit gym. As a total, I give this game a 4.5 out of 5. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this run of my, of my le first Let's Play. It was my very first Let's Play. I started last summer at the very end of it, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it as much as I did. Earthbound is a really great game, great game, and I hope you guys would ever would play it yourselves. Like I said before, you do need a guy to play this game, and it's not a bad game whatsoever. Even though I, if I did give it a 4.5 out of 5, that doesn't mean that you don't have to give it a 5 out of 5. My main point is that there was a few flaws in this game that only ticked me off a tiny bit. But other than that, it's a great game that everybody should play. Any Nintendo fan needs to play this game. That's the that's a real hard fact. Like this game could have been Nintendo's Final Fantasy if they really kept going with the series. And I really wish they did. I hope you guys Enjoy my commentary as this is my first Let's Play i ever done, and I understand that my commentary may not as great, be as good as the greats like Chugga Conroy or PewDiePie, and hopefully one day my, my commentary will amount to that kind of 